Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long this video will be, so we'll just get started and we'll try to push through it. Um, I'm in the bathroom, obviously, shower curtain behind me, clothes hamper, full of clothes that I need to do. Uh, <laughs> So I am 29 and a half weeks, a little more I guess. Today is Tuesday and I turn 30 weeks on Thursday, but I don't know if I'm going to have time on Thursday to <laughs> make a video, so I'm just going to make it now. Uh, I don't really anticipate anything changing, so this is going to be weeks 27 through 30. Um, I think my last one was 24 through 26. So. Uh, <clears throat> I had a doctor's appointment like a day or two before I turned 28 weeks, so technically I was still 27 weeks, and we had an ultrasound. I don't have any pictures really to show you. I got one picture out of the whole thing, and it's kind of crappy. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty good at looking at ultrasound pictures because I've seen quite a few of them. but. Um, you can barely kind of see where the face is. He, um, at the, at the ultrasound, um, he was breech and also his face was completely in my placenta. And so they couldn't really see his face very well. They wiggled it around and he moved a little bit. So we have this little tiny picture of like a nose and a lip and that's pretty much it. So not really any point of showing you that. <laughs> uh, they estimated him, and yes, I know, before you tell me in the comments, I know that um, ultrasounds can be off, but they estimated him at 2 pounds 11, and that was right before 28 weeks, so uh, I do kind of wonder if he's going to be kind of a bigger, chubbier baby. Um, the twins at this point were like maybe 2 pounds, and... At 37 weeks, they were 5'10 and 5'2. So I feel like this one, if he, if if the measurements were, you know, fairly accurate, I feel like this one might be bigger. And I feel like he's more on track with what Cody was measuring, and he came out at 8'14. So, um, yeah, uh, the ultrasound was fine. Everything's fine. They, the uh, the doctor is gonna give me one more probably. I'm guessing around 36 weeks. He didn't tell me for sure, but I'm guessing at 36 weeks. Um, just to check everything. Placenta's still high and out of the way, so that's not an issue. Like I said, he was breech, so I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, at the appointment, we did talk a little bit more about um, what he will allow with the VBAC and etc. Um, he's not really comfortable doing a version on a VBAC unless it's a super, super easy one, like maybe just kind of nudging him into place or something, but he doesn't really want to do that. Um, so I need to get this baby to flip by himself, and like I said, I'll talk about that in a second. And then, um, he doesn't want me to go past 40 weeks. Uh, so, yeah, that kind of gives me a little bit of a time frame, which means I will be having a baby on or before May 28th, which is my due date. So, um, <clears throat> slightly okay with that because I don't want to go over and at the same time I did sort of want this pregnancy just to kind of happen as it should or whatever but um I don't know I'll probably make a whole separate video on my VBAC thoughts and how they've changed or moved or whatever and that's a whole other video but anyways pregnancy um he uh will do a a membrane sweep at 38 weeks um, if I want obviously <laughs> he's not just gonna you know uh, 38 weeks if I would like as long as I'm dilated to a three and same stipulation if I'm dilated to a three I can request to be induced at 39 weeks um, and I really don't know what my plans are um, the Baby's parents don't live too far away from me, but there is a, um, a situation, let's say. <laughs> Not nothing bad, but I, I can't talk about it. So, uh, and I think that that might sort of affect their ability to be here for the birth or not. Um, it might, it might not. It might work really well, I don't know, but 
Uh, as of right now, I don't really know if the parents are coming or what days would work best for them or anything like that. Um, my mom was going to be here for about a, like a little over a week, week and a half, and obviously I would like to have the baby while she's here so I can have some support. And then also, um, you know, if I want Glenn to come visit me for a while or whatever, Cody has somewhere to stay and, you know, that sort of thing. So, because as of right now, if, if I just went into labor, Okay, not right now, but let's just you know, say, for sake of the video, if I wanted to labor right now, um, I don't really have anyone around me. So, um, Glenn, he doesn't come into the labor room with me, but he couldn't even be with me after recovery because he has Cody. I mean, he could come visit me for a couple hours, but Cody's not going to stay at a hospital all day, right? So, <laughs> I would like someone there for me. Um, I am kind of considering a doula. Honestly, haven't really talked to the I am about it. Or my doctor. I need to see how many people there are comfortable with because it could with everything how everything's working out with like my mom's husband like my stepdad's vacation and the the situation with the parents and everything I could either be having a baby by myself or I could have a baby with like five people in the room so I I don't know <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna be starting to pack maybe around 36 weeks I don't really anticipate needing them before then but um, I like I I would be shocked 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 if I had an early baby. I just don't think that's <laughs> I don't think that's in me to have an early baby. Um, oh yeah, breach. So I have started seeing a chiropractor. I saw her the second time today. Um, she's doing the Webster method on me, so she's trying to get like my pelvis and everything aligns, so the baby will flip over and she's giving me some exercises to do, not exercises, but kind of like stretches and that sort of thing to do to help encourage the baby to move down and the correct way. Um, and I'm just really hopeful that in general, just being more aligned and everything will sort of help. I've never seen a chiropractor before and I always thought they were kind of hokey, but I'm kind of willing to try anything at this point that I'm allowed to try, so. Um, yeah, <laughs> that is pretty much it. It's going to be about like a 10 minute video. So um, I have another appointment. I don't know the exact date I need to call them because I lost my appointment card and I have a new phone number so they can't even call me to remind me. So um, I think it's around 30, 30, I think it's a little bit before 32 weeks. It's in this month and because I am on a three week schedule now. So um, I have the one um, in the beginning of March. Three weeks later, I'll have one. So 28, 29, 30, 31. And then I'll have one at 34. Yeah, 34. <laughs> and then I do two two week ones. So 36, 38. And then I have one at 39 and 40. So 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1. And maybe. So maybe missing out on a one or maybe those ones. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyways. That's pretty much it. I will let you go and I will show you a quick belly shot. I'm not sure how well you can see the very bottom, but there's not much of a bottom. Um, I kind of feel a bit smaller this time around. I mean, obviously I'm going to be smaller than with the twins, but I even feel smaller than with Cody. And I kind of wonder if like, I have that front placenta, right? So I kind of wonder if it is sort of pushing the baby back. Um, when I have an eight, and like in the morning, I can suck in and be like just fat looking rather than pregnant. So, and there's the side. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.